All right, guys, we got the Malibu. My boy got his first fish. What? What is that? A uh, shark. <laughs> what kind of shark is that? Great white. A little baby. Nice. He got a nice little fish. Smack him. What's his name? Swarmy. Now you're gonna use this for bait? No. Oh. No, he's, he's a good size right here. That it's is a nice one. Yeah. yeah. Decent size. Decent size. For being your first fish? I told you when you just got all you need is some worms. You just need the all the basic anatomy. About fishing. That's all you needed? So what you use for bait? You want to tell them what you use for bait? Warm? Warm. And what you do? How do you caught them? Or just caught himself? You gotta play with it a little bit, you remember? Yeah, also you felt it, you felt the tension and you just like let me Grab pull it in. Uh, okay. <laughs> so right now he got the first fish out of the whole crew. It's four of us. So I guess we're gonna say Walter one, the rest of us zero. Congratulations, we Walter. Fifteen hundred dollars each on the pot. And I'm walking home with uh forty five hundred. Okay. Take me home. For sure. What's your thing, Ricardo? Walter caught his first fizz, bro. I told you. You know what it was is because I hooked it up. No, no, you know what it is? That was a worm. I did the worm. That, that's not why you got the fizz. That's my pull. Oh, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is, y'all. That's my pull. Now take him out, put him back in. Nah, you catch it, you release. Come on. Let me see you, bro. Let me see if you know what Let's see if you know what you're doing. Put your pull down right here. Where's the... The gloves? No, you got them. Push that fin down. they're fucking sharp. Yeah, that fin, get push that fin down. You'll be good. Hell no, give me gloves. All right, man. In the green pouch. Just grab them by the... One of the edges pouches. Bro, did my pouch go in the water? No, it's over there. I see it. Hey, what's your snap? Yeah, caught a little fatty. First fish. Guys, I was just joking. I fish all my life. <laughs> Bro, he didn't even know he had a fish. The pole was dancing. He was just I was getting work. What? <laughs> what work you were getting? My load for tomorrow. I was on the pole. Ah, okay, okay. What's going on, cold dog? That's a nice one, though. I like it. What is that? It's a channel. Yeah. You think he's dead? No, hurry no. up. If you take long, any push down on his fins, push like down, yeah, like yeah. that right there. Hold him down. Push him down. Put his fins down. Like that. He can't. He's gonna, gonna do it him. him. No, he can't do it himself. Oh. Hold on. What happened? Put him down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take his hook off. Oh, what'd oh, you name it? Squirt, he said something like that. Oh, yeah. Damn, this poor yeah, thing is yeah. it's stuck. Yep. Well, you gotta push off. I got you. I'll call you baby girl. There you go. Alright. He's stuck. No, but come on, that's an easy hook to take off right there. Bro, he's not can't there. can't do it. You say you've been fishing your whole life. I never used to take them off. So what, you leave the hook on them? Yeah, I used to. I can't do it. Try to get it. I'll hold it. Go. <laughs> Look how easy it is. It is in there. Good. Hold your hook. You got hurt too. Go up. with the fish. Adios. All right, Walter one, rest of us zero. Let's see who's gonna catch more fish today. Yeah, let's see. It's a long gap, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we just caught another one. I don't know what this is. Wait, did you catch this or this is your bait? Bait. Oh, this is your bait. Oh, we thought we. No, oh, that's we... babe right there. That's babe. <laughs> we th we thought you caught this. What is this? A little baby. We can put this in the fish tank. Little tank got a fish tank. All right, guys, we barely getting warm up. This is our second fish. Uh, Walter still got the lead with one. And I had one, but, you know, the hook was not tied correctly, so it's my fault, so it doesn't count. So right now, Walter one. Uh, I guess this is one, right? Pelon one, and uh, that's it. I'm going to keep trying to see if uh, Walter going to be the champion today. Ooh, my boy got another one. This is that's my fish. That's not your yeah, fish. You just caught it. Man, that is not your fish. Suck on these Chinese nuts! No, man, we're not doing none of that. Look at that. Another channel cat. We need to show Walter what a blue one looked like. That's, that that's like a nice same, one. That's the same size as mine. Is it? Ricardo, show me this. No, don't do that. <laughs> that's what he showed me. Don't do that. 
Hey, my boy got two, Walter one, and uh, Ricardo. Zero. Look. Look at the trick you showed me. Look. Uh, what about the, the trick about you unhooking it? I don't know. Come on, Walt. Don't be scared. Just a little fishy, bro. Look at the size of you. Look at the size of that. This one's a water out there. You can't take him out? Man, Ricardo, we staying behind. What happened, bro? We gotta let the rookies catch up. That's what it is. I knew there was. Somebody caught a mermaid. Caught a mermaid's tail. All right, Liv. Well, we definitely gotta catch a big one. We gotta show them them blue, Ricardo. You heard? We gotta catch them that blue one. That's one brother. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna continue. Hopefully, uh, we catch another one, one of their blue, so Walter can see the difference, because he don't know the difference right now. Mm -hmm. He thinks that. Uh, first day out. Hey, what happened to the, to the um, first day out? The what? The, the needle nose. Oh, my pocket keeps falling. Alright, uh, check my, my uh, tackle box. Alright, he didn't caught one. Caught one, gang. A small one, but you know, this is a small pole. So, I think I thought I was caught in the rock and I kept pulling in. I was just like, ying, ying, ying. the whole time I had a little fish, so little baby one. We keep catching this channel, cat. You guys know we are here to catch the blue. We haven't seen the blue. I'm trying to show Walter what the blue is. This one's still a decent size. They're not too small. What you think about these? That's big. Yeah. 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 So, so we all we all caught one besides the loose there. Carlo. One, oh no, one, one, and two. I would have been tied right now, too, but you know, the other one. Yo. Yo. What up? All right, I'm going to pull up right now with the boat. With the official circle, everybody follow. All right, man, look, this is, uh, we had a rotate. We had to go to another location because we couldn't catch nothing. And uh, we just went through something. We caught some, some fish. Yeah, we caught some fish. We caught some fish. We caught some fish. More channel cats. We've been catching the same size lately. I don't know why. I think it's the same fish. We, we haven't. Man, that ain't the same fish. We haven't caught anything bigger than this, right? <laughs> this, they're all been the same, right? Pretty yeah. much. We well, haven't land yet. We need to uh, give it the smack. <laughs> no, look at the, the head. We, we're going to try getting with them big ones right now. I'm trying to get a blue one. I'm trying to show my boy Walter what a blue one looks like. So we think this is big. We're going to show what a big one looks like. Really, Walter? They didn't catch another one? You were the first one to caught one. I, I'm yeah. professional. You did that, you did that, man. I know. He caught. How many you caught? Two? How many you caught? Um, no, how many you caught? One. You? This is my second. I caught one and you. I caught, Zero! Caught I loser! I, got I just don't got him on me Loser! Right move on! I just don't got him on me right now. <laughs> this has got to be another um, small one. I mean, this is a small hole. That's one of the big holes. You think you got another one? Wish I could just hook off. He broke three poles. <laughs> <laughs> broke three poles. Bro, leave me alone. I'm just trying to unhook this bitch. Bro. He broke three poles. Three. I'm to unhook this bitch. Yeah, man. I'm going to unhook this bitch. Yeah, he paid $79.99. Hey, Stay off the steroids. Oh, Ricardo, he broke another pole. Oh, he's crazy. He's got powers. Hey, he's but who's winning right now? Who's winning? Sleepy's winning with three broken poles. <laughs> oh, that's not real. It's Shakespeare, isn't it? Yeah, I guess he knows oh. the spot, huh? Hey, don't lie, that, that's a brand new pole. <laughs> Back the fuck up, bro. <laughs> that, was, that was the first time using it. I'm showing America who breaks poles. <laughs> who be losing poles, throwing poles, breaking poles. What do you think about that? Is that your pole? Whose pole is it? Pliers? I don't have any. Yeah, pliers? You need Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 because he with another video. 
Today guys, we're gonna head over to Kilimar Customs to go pick up the Malibu, which has been done for a while now. And uh, we finally got some time to go pick it up, but we can actually swap it with the Blue Caprice. Uh, still haven't decided on the name. Somebody came out with a uh, blue face. I don't think blue face don't sound too bad. What y'all think about blue face? Uh, y'all wonder what who's blue face? Let me show you the car. So this is blue face right here, guys. We're just gonna name him blue face. So blue face is gonna be going to kill them all customs because the rear end, I guess, is not center either. So um, I believe it's too this way, like this way. And it's too close to the inner of the, like uh, it's almost touching the frame in the inside back there. So we're gonna be taking it to get it centered and then uh, finish it all up. We also got something in the mail for this. Let me show y'all what it is. I haven't even opened it. So let me see, hopefully I could open it, but we did get something in the mail. You know what? We're just gonna rip it. Nice. Y'all know what this is or no? Let's see what this. Okay. Just the instructions, I'm guessing. But this is going to be the center uh, molding. It goes in the center of the car, like in the middle. That's what I'm talking about now. Well, it goes, let me show y'all real quick. Well, you guys see that one has one right there. This one goes in the middle right here. So, we got navy blue to match the top. So we are also gonna be installing that. Probably gonna have Ace, since we gotta take it Ace and buff it. I believe we gotta get it. I would think it would be better if we buff it before we install this. So, yep. We got this in the mail. Actually ordered it from eBay, if you guys are wondering where did I get it from. So this is from eBay, guys. Can't wait to put this on and see the car all cleaned up. And I think this is gonna be the instructions. Congratulations on the purchase as a seller we like to okay. Well yeah, this is uh this is what we got for the Caprice. Check out the wood grain stem view. Old school. Okay, so yeah gang, that's what we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna be taking uh blue face to kill them all and go check out the Malibu, which is uh I think I'm thinking I want to drive them, so I might just drive this there and drive the Malibu back. Try to think. I think that's the plan. So, yeah, let me uh, finish moving some cars. So we're gonna be taking this one out and then uh, head over to Kilimall Customs. All right, guys. Now that I got the car on the tow truck, I can show you guys better. So, do you guys see the gap that we have between the wheel and the uh, quarter right here? almost like a finger and a half right so let me show you guys the other side it's like two and some change fingers so we actually gonna get that center because it's not center so the rear end is shifted more this way so we need it to be more center both sides that way it's not really Touching because right here it's really close let's see if I can it's really close to like right there y'all see that it's really it's pretty close so we need to push it away but that's why we're gonna be going now uh, killing my custom to get this ring center because right here let's see the gap over here y'all see the difference more of a gap but right here is closer to the quarter panel so Yep, let's go get that fixed, guys. You like that one? That one? <laughs> you like that one? Jeez, look how dirty it is. It's got a uh, 
28 with a 7 inch lift. I don't know what they did to it, so I guess you get to see whatever. Yeah, just go over it, man. I really don't know. I mean, I drove it all the way from uh, Wisconsin, two hour drive. So just so you know, I drove it like that. But obviously, I don't know. I feel like it's too close to like the inner whatever, you know? You'll figure it out, right? Well, guys, I can't show you guys much because Lou ain't here, and I don't think Mike got anything to show you guys. You got anything, Mike, today? Uh, not much. Not much yet, right? I mean, we got a lot, but... No, I'm saying, yeah, you got a lot, but nothing lot. nothing to show right now. Nothing to show with him. Yeah. Nah, we'll just wait, man. We got the ambulance. Well, guys, we're going to check back, but I'm going to show you guys the Malibu because the Malibu's all done. What, what happened to the Malibu's all good? Was it really uh, off or no? Is there um, some adjustments? Yeah, no, totally readjusted. Yeah? Everything, um, you, you know, lifted it up a little bit? Yeah, raised the back up a little bit, squared it up, straightened it out, uh, trimmed up, trimmed the lip a little bit. Okay, so we should be good, right? Yeah, no road. Okay. Y'all gotta go take it to get tuned. Yeah. Y'all you, were you guys having trouble starting it? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it to tune because I don't know what's going on with that. But let me show y'all the Malibu. All right, guys, we got the Malibu up in the tow truck. About to load it up, strap it down. But looks like we are set with the suspension. No more rubbing. We had to do them adjustments. Shout out to Killer Mall Customs. Now Malibu's all ready. Uh, I'm still gonna take it, uh, try to figure out that tune, but it's weird because it does it, it only do it sometimes, they don't do it all the time, so I don't know if it's because carburetor or whatnot, but it does run good, it sounds good, so I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna play with it a little bit more, I'm gonna take it to uh, my tuner, see what he thinks, but it's pretty much ready. I mean, if you guys seen the video of when we purchased this car from Turbo Joe, we were doing some. Uh, busted some donuts so i mean it is a six so i just don't know if it just needs to be adjusted or anything like that but now we can really drive it because the suspension is set and we don't got to worry about the rubbing so you know when we bought it the car had 20 inch wheels now it's got 24 inch billy bond speed wheels also guys the giveaway is still live for this if you guys haven't got your entry, go get your entry. I will post the link. I will pin the link on the comments. So if you guys want to get a chance to win this bad boy right here, Malibu's Most Wanted, click on the link and get your entry. It's going to close uh, on the 17, I believe. I have to check. But don't miss out, gang. You guys can be taking this 79 Chevy Malibu LS swap with suspension, bigger brakes. 24 inch billets, custom interior all redone in green. Canvas top. It's kind of hard to see right now, but. And we got the three stage sunroof. Billy steering wheel. It's got it all. Nice G body with a nice motor. Turbo 400 transmission. Yep. But we're gonna get this thing strapped on guys and head back to the shop. Because tomorrow we have a car show. Well, we actually got a couple car shows this weekend. We got Shaheen car show. And there's another show after that, I think in Elgin or Waukegan. And then we got a PC show on Sunday at uh, Union Grove in Wisconsin. So it's gonna be at the track. Yep. Let's load it up. <laughs> 